Okay, Faz, we're going over the rules in the back. There were no final questions from you. There were no final questions from you, Red. If you want to touch gloves, do it now. Come out ready to fight. Josh Emmett, Yaya Rodriguez. Winner in all likelihood will get the featherweight champion Alexander Volkanovsky when he returns to the division. But for now, the spotlight shines upon Emmett in white and Rodriguez in black. I mean, what we're talking about here is two incredibly elite athletes, both pushing themselves to the limit, take their careers as seriously as can possibly be. Rodriguez spent several weeks at 11,000 feet training at altitude to prepare for this one. Josh Emmett, likewise, did everything he could to prepare for Yaya Rodriguez. So much on the line. Guys, I can't stress enough how important that teep kick that you just saw land on Emmett is for Yaya Rodriguez because that hides all his question mark kicks, that hides all his body kicks, and then he's switching stance, that hides that calf kick. All those kicks up the middle, silent, all the ones that are gonna come around towards his head and legs, and it makes it hard to read him. Teep kicks, knees up the middle, huge weapons for Yaya against Josh Emmett. This is what Josh needs to do though. Minimize the distance and the range. I mean, those kicks come so fast. Oh, oh there's a body, body kick. He hurt Rodriguez. him bad with that body kick. Definitely hurt him. You see Josh Emmett backing off. Yep, he's hurt on that one. The power on those kicks is sickening. And he switched to southpaw to throw it, so it's kind of a misread for, for Emmett. He's got he's to adjust to the stance switch when that's coming high, low, or up the middle as a tee. Well, Josh said this week, he said he's watched so much tape on Yair that when he switches stances, he already knows what he's going to do. Knowing is one thing, but being ready for it is another. And he's, he's hiding everything. Emmett hasn't even thrown a strike through nearly two minutes here, trying to maybe get his reads, as my man Dominic Cruz would say. Oh, right back to the body. When I mean, you see the redness on the midsection of Josh Emmett. Yeah, he is so composed, taking his time, bouncing side, side to side, not letting Emma back him up against the fence. What I love about Yair is how he's throwing one to set up the next. He's not just throwing that first weapon just to throw it. He's throwing it to set up the heavy one coming after. Oh, Emmett clipped him with that right, though. Two and a half gone by here, round one. Yeah, he's floating right now. So light on his feet. Like a butterfly. You said it. He actually said it. Right? I, was, I was gonna say he said it. Don't accuse me of using cliches. I just like hearing you say the word butterfly. Emmett pretty fast closing that distance. Unable to land. I mean, that's the unpredictability that we're talking about. A spinning wheel kick straight into a right hook. It's the way that he changed them together. A singular unconventional attack is hard enough to deal with. When you're stringing them together in somewhat bizarre style combinations, it's a, it's a problem. And that's the thing, Emmett can just land one and he's got you hurt. Well, he did. Oh, oh my goodness, he hit him hard. All right, now we hit the canvas under 90 seconds to go in the round. And this ex is exactly where Josh Emmett wanted him. I mean, how many big shots did Yair hit Emmett? And one shot from Emmett, and it's got Yair on his back now. Oh, Emmett loading up on the ground strikes. And these are thunderous hammer fists. Trying to get past the legs, trying to establish mount or side control. Right now in a... Kind of a half guard position. Yeah, Rodriguez throws the legs up, trying to get a triangle that allows Josh to pass. Emmett dropping little elbows, little slices. Rodriguez is actually going to turn back into him, but not an easy thing to do the way that Emmett is cradling him. Now it's side control. 
Yeah, I hear mentioned he's really dedicated to committing to his submission offense. And if I can't get the submission, I'll stand up here and there, but I am looking for the submission. And that's why you're seeing the closed guard. He's not trying to just pop up, get a half guard, get to a single. He's trying to use his guard to create offense. And if it doesn't get the submission, he'll stand up off that. The full guard for Emmett is a good place to land some nice heavy shots at the end of the round. Unleash some elbows. Posture up, rain down some blows. But it also allows Rodriguez Ooh. these. Effective work off the back for Rodriguez late in the round. Round two coming up. Look at this body kick straight away. I mean, you see it fold him. He's like, ouch, that one hurt. And then he follows it up with a slick right hand. Yeah, you're so quick. I mean, these kicks are just barely missing the T-point. And then he follows up. After the kick, he follows up every time with hands. And look at that big right hand. That's all Emmett needs to really make you second guess throwing offense on him. Check that replay, and Rodriguez appeared to eat that shot from Emmett pretty well. Round two is now upon us. You heard Danny Castillo acknowledge that Rodriguez has now felt that power, just looking for a little bit more output out of his guy here in round two. I mean, it was a good round for both men. First half, obviously, awesome. Rodriguez did some solid work. Emmett inserted himself back into the competition with the second half and the knockdown slash control on the ground. On the ground and the pound attack, of course. Izzy Martinez, Mike Valley, longtime coaches entrenched in the corner of Yair Rodriguez tonight, as is Marco Beltran. Rodriguez, if nothing else, got a lot of respect oh! from Emmett on the power, at least. Both men connected. Ooh, nice knee. Oh, and he attacks the body again. Forces a shot from Emmett. And it's got to be careful, he does leave openings. When he goes in super aggressive with the kicks and then goes to the hands, there's openings for Josh. But the power is on Josh Emmett's side, but the speed and variation. Ooh, big knee lands. It's all Yair. Goodness, those, those are huge shots from Yair. Those kicks are so powerful. And he defensively has forced a lot of misses on the way back with that Emmett right hand. They're clubbing little fist shots. And then he's got such good balance here that it wastes a lot of your energy. It's like trying to take a table down. Like and it's something, a leg always lands, an arm always lands, keeps the balance. It's not as easy to take Yair down as it used to be. He's made a ton of adjustments in his grappling. All of a sudden, Josh Emmett wearing it upstairs. About three minutes here to go in round two. Just so many different myriad weapons to think about, right, when defending Rodriguez. That's right. So it, it, it's an overload for Josh Emmett. You know, for Yair, it's pretty simple. It's a basic approach. It's boxing. He's going to swing, and he's going to try and take you down. Ooh, elbow oh, hurt that him bad. Oh, elbow. The knees are what's going to hurt here, and the elbows. Nice job by Yair to just touch him up and not get too aggressive and get taken down. Yair's just ferocious. I mean, every time he throws, it's with everything that he has. And always a different spot. He rarely hits the same thing twice. Oh. Question mark kick, beautiful. Landed right on the spot. You have to fake. Yeah, and you're not getting any jabs, you're not getting any kind of uh, punches that close the distance for him. It's all explosive shots from the outside. He's just trying to make up that range. Yeah, the problem for Josh, I mean, as you said, Dominic, he can't get on the inside. He can't use those jabs. He can't use the feet to close the distance because Yair is constantly oh, attacking. Oh, my goodness. Emmett somehow ate it. With flying attacks, aerial attacks, long length kicks and knees. But that was a beautiful turn of events for Josh Emmett. I mean, the risks that Yair will take also is what makes him one of one. He was willing to land that knee. Now he's on his back, and he's okay with it. He's not panicked. He's just staying here, and he's still doing damage. Those elbows are heavy the way he's using them from that guard, too. Rodriguez has found the flow state early tonight. One minute, Josh. Let's finish this. Gonna watch that triangle. 
If Yeye could pull that right leg out, he was thinking about a triangle. He's abandoned it now. Pretty good left hand connection by Emmett there. We saw Ortega arm bar, land an arm, arm bar on Ortega here. Almost. And there's the triangle. He's going to pull it down. He's got it locked oh, in. That's in. 45 seconds to work. Oh, that's locked up. That's it. it. He stops. That's Ryan it. Rodriguez, UFC champion. Wow. He submits Josh Emmett to win the title. And it's just the third UFC title fight to end by triangle choke. Look here, the knee to the body started it. And you see the spinning back fist, but it's not there. And right here, this elbow, boom, just sits down Emmett a little. Ouch, where did that come from? He wasn't ready for that one. And then this jump knee lands right on the neck, knocks the Vaseline right off of Emmett's chin. Huge, huge strikes. Everything was damaging from Yair. And it's just an incredible showing. He's made so many leaps and bounds of improvements with his takedown defense, submissions, everything. And now he gets to party and drink some beers. Yeah, Yair Rodriguez just enjoying a beer and now he will come back and get the Flowers. Fourth career win by submission for Yair Rodriguez. First in the UFC and Josh Emmett had never been submitted in his career. And my new favorite description of Yair Rodriguez, courtesy of Dominic Cruz, that dude's one of one. One of one, there's nobody like him. Nobody's ever fought like him. Nobody's ever come close. All his kicks are dynamic. The way that he utilizes his range, he's got footwork. He's switching stance. You don't know if he's throwing a left high, a right high, a teep kick, a question mark kick, hands, elbows, knees. And then when he's on his back, he's elbowing you, he's doing damage, he's going for submissions. He is a finisher in every aspect. And if you are Alexander Volkanovsky, perhaps catching this with a wandering eye in the back, you gotta think that this will motivate him to return to the featherweight division and try to see if he can add the scalp Yair Rodriguez to his legacy. But Yair Rodriguez, UFC interim featherweight champion. Absolutely incredible. All right, here now Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Jason Herzog, it's called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 19 seconds of round number two. Declared the winner by submission due to a triangle choke. And now, the new interim UFC featherweight champion of the world, Yair El Pantera Rodriguez.